Hey, this is Mr. Aiden, this is Calculus, this is Differentiation, and we are still doing the chain rule with tables. So we're going to be adding some tables to this chain rule. So let's get to our chain rule. A little bit of review on what our chain rule was. Our chain rule was when we were taking the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, we have to take the derivative of the outside guy, f prime of g of x, times the derivative of the inside guy, g prime of x. And so this formula is going to help you out big time when it comes to tables. This is the way I always do these tables. Um, I always have four legs, some chairs, oh wait, different tables. We're going to be taking a look at the chain rule tables. And doing this formula for every single table is very, very important. So you can see, I have here, I have a table. A table of f of x, h of x, f prime of x, h prime of x at negative 2 and positive 4. Okay. They said let h of x be defined as this composite function f of h of x. And so they want to know what h prime of 4 is. Well, first let's do the derivative of h of x. What's the derivative of f of h of x? Well, that's going to be f prime of h of x times the derivative of the inside guy, h prime of x. Guys, do this every single time. Set up what we what I call a skeleton equation of what the derivative is, and that's just using the chain rule. Okay, so we're going to use the chain rule, yo. And so now I can plug 4 in for x, which means I have f prime of h of 4 times h prime of 4. Now I'm going to look at my table. Do you see how I know what h of 4 is? I have h of 4, h of 4, that's negative 2. So that this bad boy equals negative 2 right in there. Do I know what h prime of 4 is? Well, h prime of 4, you look on the table, h prime of 4 is equal to 1. So I'm multiplying by 1. But remember, I still have this f prime right here. I haven't lost it which means I have this last function to take a look at. I have f prime of negative 2. So I'm going to go to my table. I have f of x. I have negative 2. f prime of negative 2 is equal to 28. I still have times by 1 right here. So what's 28 times 1? It's 28. And so that's the answer for your derivative. Your answer of h prime of 4 would equal 28. So let's take a look at another one. Again, here I have g of h of x. And so I want to know what the derivative is. And so I have g prime of h of x. Remember, leave the middle guy, the inside guy the same. Multiply by the derivative of the inside guy, h prime of x. Again, write this down every single time. It'll help out big time. Okay, And I want to know when x is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to plug in 4x negative 2. And I have h prime of negative 2. Now I can go to my table. I look at what h of negative 2 is. So h of negative 2 is equal to 3. So that equaled 3 right there. I, I'm looking for h prime of negative 2. h prime of negative 2 is negative 5. So negative 5. But remember, I still have this g prime on the outside, don't I? Now I'm going to do this this guy by looking at the table, what's g prime of 3? g prime of 3 is equal to 1. So 1 times, I still have the negative 5, equals negative 5. And that is the answer to the derivative of this function using a table. I'm going to show you one last example. This example is using f of x squared. So I have f of x and all of that bad boy is being squared. Okay, and so I am, that's what h of x is equal to, okay? So I'm going to look at what h prime of x, what the derivative is, and I'm going to use the chain rule. So I'm going to take this 2, I'm going to multiply out, so 2 times f of x, this 2 becomes a 1, doesn't it? Multiply by the derivative of the inside guy. What's the derivative of f of x? Is f prime of x. Does that make sense? So you can see how I use the product rule on the outside, and then I multiply by the derivative of f of x, which was f prime of x. And I want to know what h prime of 2 is. Okay, And so I'm going to plug in a 2 every time, everywhere I see an x. And now I can go to my table. And so you can see f of 2 
f of 2 is equal to negative 9. So this bad boy is equal to negative 9. f prime of 2, f prime of 2 is equal to negative 8. Okay, now don't forget, I still have this 2 out here, don't I? And so I have 2 times negative 9, that's negative 18, times negative 8, and that equals 144. And that is my answer using the table. And so this was the chain rule with tables, yo. And so make sure you go do some tables for your self-assessment. All right, sounds good. Hope this helped. I'll talk to you. Catch you on the flip side.